Are you planning on socializing this festive season? Hi, I'm Simon de Pinar and I'm an attorney. This year we are free from COVID-19 restrictions and that gives us all something to celebrate. But we mustn't allow that to mean a return to high rates of death on our roads. Alcohol is a major factor in road traffic accidents and fatalities, and these always skyrocket during the festive season. As people travel around the country to visit loved ones or travel to the next suburb for a braai with friends. Now, in December, you are more likely to encounter roadblocks because alcohol consumption increases this month. The provincial traffic services are committed to cracking down on drunk driving. During the week of the 21st to the 27th of November in the Western Cape, there were 225 integrated roadblocks, vehicle checkpoints and speed control operations. 28,910 vehicles were stopped and checked. Note that figure, that's in one week. It's fair to say your chances of being pulled over in December are fairly high. I say it every year and I don't apologize for repeating it. Don't drink and drive. That will hopefully ensure you aren't arrested, but it won't prevent you being stopped for a check. If you are pulled over in a roadblock, what will happen and what should you do? If you stopped at a roadblock under suspicion of driving under the influence, you will be breathalyzed. In a traditional roadblock, if you're over the legal limits, you will be taken into custody and sent for a blood alcohol test. If the roadblock is a mobile alcohol evidentiary unit, your blood will be tested immediately. If you are innocent, you will be released and you're free to go on your way. If you are over the limit, you're more likely to be charged as you won't need to be transferred to a testing center. You are allowed to phone a lawyer and the police must inform you of this right. You may be released on bail or you may be detained until your court appearance. It is easy for me to say, stay calm and be polite if this happens to you. But if you've had too much to drink, you may not be your most rational self. Some people become argumentative after a few drinks. However, it is very important to keep your cool and resist the temptation to argue. It won't help your case. The best course of action is to say nothing. You must give your name, address and ID number, but you don't have to answer any questions. Please don't contradict the officer or make jokes and don't volunteer information about what you have or haven't had to drink. Without an attorney present, you risk incriminating yourself. Drill this advice into your head while sober, and hopefully your survival instinct will remember it when you need it. Most importantly, use your one phone call wisely. Call a criminal defense attorney. If you don't have my number in your phone, call your spouse or a friend you can trust and ask them to call me. Don't waste your phone calls on someone who can't help you. Now you have heard on the news that there is a shortage of blood testing kits this year. Don't use this as a license to drink and drive. According to the Western Cape Minister of Mobility, Dalen Mitchell, the Western Cape has sufficient blood testing kits to ensure any drivers found over the legal breath alcohol limit can undergo a blood alcohol content test. The minister is wholly committed to a zero tolerance policy on drunk driving. Zero tolerance may suggest a zero blood alcohol limit. There is a lot of confusion around this. The Road Traffic Amendment Bill, which introduces the zero limit, was tabled in Parliament in May 2020, but it has not been enacted yet. Therefore, the legal limit for blood alcohol is still 0.5%. But there has been so much publicity around zero tolerance that not everyone is aware that the bill is not yet law. And this includes some police officers. If you are arrested for DUI and are under the legal limit, but above zero, you have a solid case. However, you may still undergo the humiliation of being charged. Now, why chance it? If you're socializing and there is likely to be alcohol, leave the car at home. But if you are arrested for drinking and driving, call me on 076-116-0623. Save the number 